Zscaler Zero Trust SD WAN, formerly known as Branch Connector, gives hospitals access to the data center applications and internet security without needing new complex routing or expensive circuits from each hospital or clinic back to the core data centers. This can also help in cases where you don't manage those PCs at the hospital, such as with a community connect. So you instead provide connectivity back to your EHR without sacrificing security using a VDI technology or a site-to-site VPN. Again, connecting users to applications, not the network, or not having a public external facing attack service, such as the a NetScaler or another VDI vendor platform. Here I am logging into my Zero Trust clinic. It's on a Wi-Fi network. Just to make it easy in my life, I'm going to disable the Ethernet cable. Because again, I want to show you guys just branch connector traffic. While my Ethernet cable is set up for that, it just makes the most sense to show you what it might look like. And you might have guest Wi-Fi, for example, that might get routed out to a branch connector versus doing a GRE tunnel. Here's my network. You can see it's a 192 network. If I were to do an end map on this, which I can do right now, um, you wouldn't see other things from my lab in this case, on that network. You would actually only see the things that are connected to the Zero Trust Click, which again, is not my data center core applications, right? So an MMAP isn't going to protect you from your own internal network sniffing. If you're on the network, you're already able to kind of breach things, but it is going to prevent people from seeing your data center's network and what applications may live there and what may be vulnerable there. So you're going to see that I have some data files because, again, internet security is a big topic that I talk to customers about. I like oranges is my non-sensitive data. Um, that's from my daughter who loves citrus and fruit. I hate it. <laughs> so I also then have sensitive data as well. Things like social security numbers, date of birth, you know, names, all of that kind of good stuff. And I'm going to try uploading it all to Google Drive because maybe I'm a G Suite shop or maybe I share files with another G Suite shop or what have you, but I need to be able to show that I can get there with tenancy restrictions and with other restrictions in place with DLP. And I'm not allowed to upload sensitive data there, right? I don't meet that criteria for those rules to be able to allow me to upload sensitive data. I then heard there's a big Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu match on, and I'd love to go place bets. You know, maybe I'm in between patients, but oh wait, no, I'm being blocked there too, right? I'm allowed to go to gambling sites, so I can't go bet on some of my favorite black belts that are competing at the Euros this past weekend. Instead, I get the prompt that we know and love that you can customize as you see fit. You know, the security panda does not allow me to go to gambling websites. But I can also connect to applications because, again, we saw things like internet security, but historically you've needed something like a Zscaler client connector on your machine to connect to applications, or you have to do it through a browser access base. But what if I could give you access to those applications via just the next hop out and still be able to set policy around them, right? Still be able to wrap zero trust policy around them in order to ensure that I'm being secure and not just opening up my network to everybody, right? If I can get to my DICOM viewer, which is what this is, work and see, then I should be able to make sure that only certain people can get there or only certain branch connectors can get there or zero trust WANs. So I'm going to go to all studies. I'm going to scroll on down to my MRI because, again, I love looking at images that have a lot of frames in the series because anybody can show you a one frame image and have it load and it looks great. But what about images that are high resolution that require a lot of frames to load? So I'm going to go ahead and export out to the web viewer. Again, this lives on a lab in Texas, not on my home network. There is no DNS for it. So if I were to go to my command prompt and you see that green bar down there loading very fast, I can do an NS lookup and I can look at ortho and see, and I can see, hey, this 100 address, which is a synthetic address. Keep in mind that I'm on a 192 network. So the fact that I can see ortho and see does not mean that I'm capable of getting there. That means that if I were to have zscaler.com, let's just say, behind an app connector, that talks outbound only, if I don't have access to it, then I don't even know it exists, even if I know the URL, even if I knew the IP address because I'm not connected to the network. So we have two pieces, right? You have the piece that is my machine that's talking to the cloud. That cloud then has another piece on the other end of that that talks directly to it in an outbound only. That's what we call the app connector. They can be cloud native. They can be on your on-prem, they can be at your house on a Linux box somewhere. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, they only talk outbound on 443. They don't allow any other ports through. So they stitch the connection back at the cloud. The cloud says, hey, let's enforce all these policies and great things. 
This is then the branch connector console. This is the same console that you would have seen if you had branch connector before, now known as Zscaler SD WAN, or if you had Cloud Connector. So with Cloud Connector and Zscaler S uh, Zero Trust SD WAN or branch connector, I can now see, hey, this is my, my device that's sitting at home. It's in main. I can go to things like DNS logs. I can look at what is being filtered through DNS. Because again, maybe I don't want all my traffic to go to this device. Maybe I want only certain traffic to go to this device. And so I'm able to see everything that is going through it and still be able to choose where should it go, right? Should it just go direct? Should it go to ZPA for something like a source IP persistence? Should it go to ZIA to be filtered? And I can also go to session logs as well and start to look at session logs and see what has been being communicated with, who's sending traffic, what time frames, all that other great stuff. And then if I go to internet access, this is where I can actually start to see policy that I have wrapped, right? When you saw my blocks on Google Drive, this is where all that magic happens is on the internet access piece of that. So I'm going to go ahead and open Web Insights here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put some blocks in, some filters, because again, I don't want to see all of my traffic um, for this particular demo. There's a lot of it on that PC at any given time. Nothing bad, right? But just make it easy so you can see the actual blocks and not just see Google trying to get communicated with a thousand million times because it was open for a little bit. And those communication channels that are always sticking there. Go ahead and put in the policy. Go ahead and put block. And now I'm going to hit apply filters. Now you're going to be able to see everything. So now I can see all these blocks that are happening when they've happened, who tried doing it, you know, all these things. But Zero Trust Clinic um, is just my branch connector, just my Zscaler SD WAN device. This is just sitting here and doing all of its filtering with no GRE tunnels needed. It's just the next hop out in this case. And again, this is a great product if you're sitting in a data center somewhere and you don't want all these hospitals connecting to you. I know when I was a customer, we used to have tons of VPNs to all of our clients and they're a pain to manage. It's complex. They're not really secure. Once you're on the network, you can see everything typically. Yes, I get that you can hide IPs in any product nowadays, but I want to make it as simple as possible for my customers. And this is why Zscaler Zero Trust SD WAN or Branch Connector is the best device for that job. Thank you.